What's up everyone? We are outside of Target and today we'll be going on another Jurassic toy hunt. There's also a couple other stores that I'm going to check out in this complex. So let's go ahead and see what's inside Target. Okay, so first in Target, they have an end cap with some Jurassic stuff. Um, some more 93 Classic line. They got a bunch of Geosternbergias from the Hammond Collection, which is nice. But now let's take an actual look at the actual Jurassic toy aisle. So here we are in the actual toy aisle with the Jurassic stuff. Um, they've got a lot on sale. They've got a bunch of Geosternbergias here as well. They've got a Concavenator. Um, got a couple Hammond Collection Raptors, which is awesome. But yeah, a bunch of stuff on sale, as you can see. So anyone that hasn't picked up any of this stuff, it might be a good time to do that. But I don't see anything that I specifically need here, so I probably won't be grabbing any of this, and we'll head to the next store. Alrighty, now we are outside of Kohl's. We will see if we can find anything inside. So here we are at the toy section at Kohl's. Um, and they don't have anything that I don't have, but anyone that's looking for the new Strike Attack Dino Tracker Dinos, they seem to be carrying them now at Kohl's as well. Um, they've got the plushes that they've had for a while. I was hoping they had the new Dino Tracker ones so I could pick them up, but they don't. And then, of course, they've got, um, just some more Dino Trackers down here, some 12-inch basic figures, some masks. But other than that, nothing too crazy, but hopefully this helps someone out that's looking for these new strike attack dinosaurs. But yeah, I won't be picking up anything here. I will see y'all in the next store. Alrighty, so now we're outside TJ Maxx. Let's head inside to see if there's anything I can find. So we're inside TJ Maxx and I'm looking around and I found this awesome Jurassic World suitcase. So I think I'm gonna have to give in to my temptations and buy this thing. Now we are outside of Ross on our final stop, so let's see if there's any last things I can find. So now we are inside Ross. There was nothing interesting over in the toy area, but I completely lucked out today because I found both of these. Um, I don't have either one of these in my collection. I'm really especially liking this one. It's kind of got like a glass front and kind of like a like an aim marker and stuff on the t-rex but that is super super cool and then of course how could you mess up with the welcome to jurassic park so we'll definitely be picking up both of these we are now back into the jurassic room so let's go ahead and take a look at the results of the toy hunt so here we are with the results of today's toy hunt and the funny thing about it is that there's actually not any toys here that I got. It's just all Jurassic Park and Jurassic World merchandise, but just as cool to me. So um, I wanted to apologize to y'all for rushing through the last two stores that I was in. I know the videos of those were really short. Um, I was just in a little bit of a rush to get to work, but I wanted to make sure I recorded my findings. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff I got. So first off, um, at Ross, I was able to get these two different poster sign things. I really am digging this one because it's kind of like, if you can see it's glass on the front. And it's got like the sights of like a weapon and look like, um, I don't know if it's a weapon or a camera or what it's supposed to be. Actually, I think it's a camera. But yeah, it's, it's got like 8K recording, JP93, that's nice. And it's about a little more than halfway charged. <laughs> but this is a super super cool um poster you can see it's kind of thick too which is nice boom and for $7.99 that's ridiculous like this is so nice I cannot believe this was $7.99 so we got that one then we also got this poster that says welcome to Jurassic Park I didn't notice it has a little bit of damage here um I didn't notice till after I actually purchased it I guess it got poked or something on the back um, but I can fix that pretty easily. Just push down maybe a little bit of glue and it won't really be noticeable, but I had been looking for this sign for a while and couldn't find it. So even, you know, with a little bit of damage and it only being $7.99, I'll still take it because I think it is awesome. So yeah, we got these two really awesome posters at Ross and then at TJ Maxx, I got a suitcase. So I know here, let me back up the camera a little bit. We'll move it over so we can see the suitcase a little bit better. Okay, so I know a suitcase is a very random item, but 
I'm very big on having like random fun little off the wall types of collectibles in my collection. And I had never bought a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World suitcase before. So I kind of had to say yes. Um, I saw it online and the retail was $80 and they also had it on Amazon for like a hundred. And then this one was 50. So I was like, you know what? It's so pretty. We'll go ahead and take it. But as you can see, it's not super big or anything. It's got the wheels and everything like it should, like a suitcase should, but it's just actually really nice quality. Um, and then we'll go ahead and open it up. Just see what it looks like inside. If I can get it open. Sorry guys. There we go. But yeah, on the inside, just, you know, a nice little suitcase. Jurassic World tag right here, as you can see. But just a cool, interesting little item to add to the collection. Um, I could definitely store some stuff in this to keep it, um, keep some items safe if I wanted to. Or I could just honestly use it like a suitcase should be used and put luggage and stuff in it. Or what I most likely will do, which is, um, if any of y'all know me, that you know how I am, I will most likely keep it exactly how it is, not use it for anything so it doesn't get hurt, and keep it as a collectible and display it. That's just kind of how I am with all my stuff. But yeah, guys, this is the results of today's toy hunt, or as I should say, today's merch hunt. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Please subscribe to keep supporting my channel so that I can share all of my collection with every single one of you. The support that everyone has been showing me has just been absolutely amazing. And it just pushes me to add new items to the collection every single day. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.